Hi, Rob here. Today we're going to talk about a cinder block porch repair we did on my uh, daughter's house in Michigan. Here's a picture of the porch. As you can see, it's got this, uh, I think it's old wood siding over it, and then it has this fox, the fake wood, around the edge. But we know that it's a cinder block foundation under there because that's how what all the other houses have in the neighborhood. So we thought we would demo it, assess the damages, and go from there. After we did the demo, we decided that the major cracks and voids in the center block just had to be filled in. And we decided on applying a stucco finish and then paint for the final finish. And this was from doing a number of YouTube searches and Googling, and uh, we ran across a guy named Mike Haddock. He was our inspiration. Just search YouTube for Mike Haddock Masonry and you'll find his videos. Mike has dozens and dozens of videos about masonry, cement work, rock work, block work. And Mike is always saying, ain't no big deal. So we kind of adopted that for this project. And as you will see, if we had not adopted that, we probably would have stopped. Well, we live in California and the daughter's house is in Michigan. So we had a timeline and we were crunched for a time. The first day we did the demo, we identified the issues, all the problems. The second day, we filled in and repaired the major voids and cracks and holes, you'll see. Day three, we applied the stucco finish, and day four, we did the paint. Okay, here I'm starting to take off. We've taken off all the old wood siding and that uh, fo foxwood, fake wood, however you pronounce that. And here I'm scraping off all the loose things. Kind of a side view, and there you can see the exposed block on the front. And here's a closer up on the front, and just look at the crumbling of the block on the bottom and the, all the cracks and voids. And I just went through and chipped out all the loose pieces. And continuing to take away loose pieces and whatnot. And uh, note that hole on the front, it was just all corroded around there over, from over the years, so I chipped it all out. And when I got all the loose out, there was quite a few voids. Notice the one that I've circled. My uh, partner took her phone and stuck it in there. Looks like they just had all kinds of garbage from when they constructed this originally. Maybe their excavation, broken block. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of all that in there was for, but interesting. And then here's on the far end before I chipped off all the loose stuff. And there we have it. All the loose things have been removed. We're ready to start uh, patching and filling in the cracks. Here's a little bit better view. And like I say, had we not watched the Mike Haddock videos, we would have been scared off and probably would have called a contractor. But I've done enough DIY projects, and with Mike saying, ain't no big deal, well, ain't no big deal, so we got started. What we uh, settled on, since we were on a time crunch, we used this Lowe's product, or available at Lowe's, it's a quick creep product, but it's the high performance fast set repair mortar. This allowed us to repair all the holes and cracks on one day. The next day we did the stucco, and the day after that we uh, did the paint. But you'll notice, 20 minute working time, and that is for real. You have to be pretty quick, so do not mix up too big of a batch. Do some trial and error, and you'll see. Here we are, me and the partner, starting to fill in all the uh, holes and cracks with whatever we could find, broken block, broken brick, we even went to Home Depot and bought some of these gray brick and then we broke them to fit in the holes and use this rapid set mortar to fill it in. And just continuing to fill in and patch piecework. And here's the, on the left end. Uh, it wasn't too bad so I just kind of filled in between the slab and the cinder block so it would have a smooth transition. Just a little bit close up, some more of the patching repairs. Here's the far end. Remember that big, big void area? Well, we got a bunch of block, rock and mortar to fill it in. Then it was time for the stucco, and since, again, we were on a time crunch, we used this rapid set 
stucco patch uh, that Home Depot had. And there, its claim to fame was, again, 20 minutes working time, but you could paint it within two hours. Uh, we, we didn't get around to painting in two hours. We painted the next day, but it does set really fast. So you have to work quick and do not mix up too much. We rented a drill from the local rental company and uh, I've started applying it to the one end. You can kind of see what the final finish will look like. And just continuing on around. There's a view of the front. Just some more views of the finish. It was actually a fun project, and like I say, had we not watched the Mike Haddock videos, we probably would not have attempted. And then finally, uh, the paint, we got some masonry stucco brick paint from Home Depot, and uh, it was on day four that we applied the paint. And here I am painting. I, I painted by hand. My partner did uh, rolling on the big surfaces, and I did the trim work around the edge. It looks a lot better than it did initially, I'll tell you. And then I did a walk around here. Here is the finished product. It's all uh, painted. We're waiting for the paint to dry. It takes three days since it's concrete speckle paint. As you can see, we got brown top and off white sides. All the cracks in the block have been repaired with rapid set mortar and broken block and brick stuffed in the holes mortared in and then rapid set stucco mix placed over the top so here we go another diy project good luck with yours uh, we're not stucco people this is only like the second third stucco project i've ever done each one has been different but I think all in all, we were very pleased on how it turned out. And it certainly looks much nicer than any other porch in the neighborhood. Just some more views of the final product. And then uh, here's what we started with. You know, this uh, wood siding and then this plastic wood that had been bolted in around the top. And once we got it demoed, here's what we had to work with. We had to fill in all these holes and voids with that rapid set mortar mix. And then our final product. So all in all, we were very pleased. Good luck with you if you choose to take on a job such as this. To view more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.